Monaco and Glasgow, <laughs> but uh, let's see if you know about the Olympics. Which of these countries has never been the host of an Olympic Games, a Winter Olympic Games? Japan, New Zealand, USA, France. Um, I have absolutely no clue, so it's just going to be a complete guess. Um, I don't know about New Zealand, um, but then France might be. Four seconds. Uh, I'll say France. Oh, no, New Zealand. Oh, no. <laughs> Now, we need to check that. Oh. Uh, you went France and it was locked in. That's New Zealand. Oh. No, no, US, US uh. has hosted it four times. France three times, Japan twice. Uh. Same question could be for the Summer Games as well. Yeah. There have been uh, Summer Olympic Games in Japan and in France and USA, but not in New Zealand. Uh. Uh, the Winter Olympic Games never staged in the Southern Hemisphere. Sorry, Laura. It's all right. Uh, good on you. Thanks very much. Yeah. Good on you. Bye. Good night, Phil. Hey, Welcome, right. buddy. How's things? Very good. Very Phil good. Burke is from McLeod in Victoria, 63 years of age, an international trade advisor with the Australian Trade Commission. Correct. That sounds very impressive. Uh, yes, the title is very impressive, Eddie. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> the, job is, the job is as well. We're trying to get uh, our manufactured goods exported around the world. Good stuff. Now, you were up in Ayers Rock, Uluru, it was Ayers Rock in those days. Yes. On the, the night that Azaria Chamberlain disappeared, in fact, you were enlisted into the search party for a quarter of a million dollars. Put the goggles on, where we go for a thousand dollars. In 1832, the Swan River Colony was renamed A. Tasmania, B. Victoria, C. Queensland, D. Western Australia. Uh, lock in D, Eddie. Locked in and correct for a thousand dollars. $1,500. Which imperial unit of length is made up of 100 links? A. Fathom. B. Furlong. C. Cable. D. Chain. Ooh. Imperial measurement. Imperial measurement. Uh, I'll go for a furlong. Eddie. B. Furlong. Locked in. Uh, the links was the giveaway. It's a chain. Oh, it's a chain. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, equal to uh, 7.92 inches. The unit is based on actual chain of 100 mm. links formerly used in land surveying. Thanks, Phil. Thank Thanks, you, buddy. Okay. Cheers, Phil. Yeah. Which of these films starring Dustin Hoffman is the oldest? A. Tootsie. B. Kramer vs. Kramer. C. Rain Man. D. Wag the Dog. Oh, my God, I've got no idea. Well, you can pass. I'm going to pass. See you later. Bye, okay. Sharon. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Sharon didn't muck around at all, did she? No, did? not at yeah. all. Hey, uh, Jared, you got any idea, mate? Uh, half an idea. Oh, you're a filmmaker. You're a part-time filmmaker. Tell I me am. what you do. I am. Uh, I've just been in the industry for a few in the offing here. Oh, Which nice. of these films starring Dustin Hoffman is the oldest? Tootsie, Kramer vs. Kramer, Rain Man, Wag the Dog. Well, I don't think it'd be Rain Man or Wag the Dog. They're a bit newer. Which came so, first? A or B, I would think. I think they're both pretty close, but uh. Ten seconds. Lock in A, Eddie. Final answer? Yep. That's it. That's Kramer versus Kramer. Yeah, won oh. five Oscars. It was the highest grossing movie of 1979. Tootsie, 82. Rain Man, 1988. Wag the Dog, 1997. But uh, no, uh, Kramer versus Kramer with Meryl Streep. Sorry, Jared. All Thank right. you very much, pal. Thanks, See ya. Let's go. You're back. You're back early. You've got some work to do here. <laughs> Seven questions to get to $50,000. This for 1500 Let's go. Which of these is a soft, sour type of cheese made by straining yogurt? A. Pecorino. B. Parmesan. C. Labda. D. Mozzarella. I think I know this one. I've eaten it before. C. Labne. Lock it in. It's right for $1,500. Let's go. Two and a half thousand. A musician who plays the clarinet is called a a clarinetist. A B, B is a clarinetta. C a clariner. D a clarinator. Oh. Two more people behind me. Don't worry about them. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I've got enough, if I pass. And There's I've no passing. You've done your oh. pass. Come on, you've got to answer the question this time, Vesna. I'll go see Clarina. 
A clarinet? Yes. Final answer? See. Lock and see. Lock it in. It's a clarinetist day. Ah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> see ya. Come on, Callum. Let's win $20,000, buddy. 21 years of age from Ringwood North. For $2,500, good luck. Let's do it. How many vertebrae make up the lumbar section of the human spine? A, 5. B, 7. C, 10. D, 12. Count them if you like. I could. <laughs> How many vertebrae make up the lumbar section of the human spine? Just going to take another wild guess. Um, I'm going to go with 10. Lock and see. Lock and see. It's in. I'll give you the answer right after this. Ah. They make up the lumbar section of the human spine. 5, 7, 10, 12. You're locked in 10. Ah, Callum, it's fine. fine. The lumbar section is the lower spine between the bottom of the ribs and the top of the hips, so a bit down there. So, All bad right. luck, mate, the bottom yeah. five. Well All played, good. buddy. Thanks yeah, for cheers. coming on the show. See you, Callum. <laughs> Sharon. Hi, Eddie. You lasted in the hot seat for about 0.5 of a second yeah. before you took off because you passed, <laughs> and as a result of that, you won $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Yay to you, all right. Sharon O'Neill from Frankston, secondary teacher at the Wellington Secondary College. Yes. Must get that in. Is 58 years of age. Went to Fiji. You were yes. invited to come back to Australia on an amazing cabin cruise with the client. The owner told you it was Errol Flynn's old boat. Mm -hmm. And what happened? You found out? Well... It was Errol Flynn's old boat. It was Errol Flynn's old boat. I saw a... I was back in Australia and I saw an interview on the television with this guy and he was interviewed with the cabin cruiser. <laughs> Yeah. Errol Flint's boat. Yeah. It was what did, what, it, in the end, why didn't you jump on it? I was working on the Fair Star. Ah. And so I would have had to go and organise to actually leave, which yeah. would have been pretty hard. You would have had the mutiny of the Fair Star to get onto Errol Flint's boat. Oh, absolutely. There you go. <laughs> hey, you travel around Australia and Europe in your 20s. I'd love yeah. to have another crack at that, would you? Thousand dollars. Come on, let's get four more answers. Okay. Budgie, the little helicopter, is a popular series of children's books by whom? A, Prince Andrew, B, Prince Charles, C, Sarah, Duchess of York, D, the Queen Mother. OK. Well, I know it's not Prince Andrew, Prince Charles or the Queen Mother, so I'll look in C, Sarah. Log in Fergie. Yep. Correct for two and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> Come on, three to go, four thousand. How many siblings did Queen Elizabeth II have? We're going all royal on the show tonight. A, one. B, two. C, three. D, four. I know this Margaret. Did she have any others? Oh, hell. I've got... Oh. Take it easy. 15 seconds. OK. Well, Queen I know Elizabeth, this Margaret. Queen Elizabeth, any siblings? Ten. I can't think of any others, so I'm just going to lock in A, one. Lock in A, one. You know why you can't think of any? Why? There are no others. Oh, Correct, for 4,000. <laughs> Princess Margaret was the Queen's only sister and sole sibling, and four years Elizabeth Junior passed away in 2002. Mm. Get this one right, and we're a big chance for $10,000, oh, OK? Here we go, for $6,000. OK. Which of these fast food chains was founded in South Africa in 1987? A. Subway. B. Sumo Salad. C. Nando's. D. Red Rooster. OK. It's not Nando's. It's Portuguese. Founded in South Africa. Not Red Rooster. I think that's Australian, isn't it? Um, I'm going to go with A. Subway. Lock in A. Subway? Yeah. Final answer? Mm-hmm. You want to lock it in? Yeah. Locked in. Red Rooster, you reckon, was Australian? Mm hmm Sumo Salad? No idea. No idea. Nando's? Portuguese. Portuguese. Recipe's Portuguese. Oh. Unfortunately, it was founded in South Africa for you. Yeah. 
Yeah, one of the uh, trademark flavours being African Peri Peri Chili Nando's opened in Australia in 1991. Oh. But yeah, Nando's is originally from South Africa. Doesn't oh. matter. Sharon, you win $1,000. Congratulations. <laughs>